so typical of me to talk about myself. I'm sorry. I hope that you will. Did you ever make it out of that town where nothing ever happened? It's no secret that the both of us are running out of time. truth in heaven is uh, more like you cross the line fuck that shut up You wanted my attention, now you have it. This way. What can I say? You can't say anything. Else. We'll go with highlights first. <clears throat> Here is the former IBF heavyweight champion of the world, known as the White Buffalo, White introducing White. Francois Bota. Ladies and gentlemen. Street fights or in the ring? The referee Richard Steele calls the two combatants to the center of the ring. There's the tail of the tape. You see the differences there. Six, eight, uh, six years in age, two pounds in weight, and about four and a half inches in height, favoring Henry Tillman. Tillman will be dressed as you see across the way in the white, and here in the black trunk, solid black, is Michael Tyson, the former heavyweight champion of the world. Most think that Tyson, being the prohibitive favorite, will come out real fast, but uh, Tyson has been a very determined uh, fighter and part of his career, and he does look like he's only a solid early to me. Mike has something that he wants to show here. This is exactly what I expected from him. They said he wasn't aggressive on us against Buster Douglas. He's aggressive right now. He's just powering and pushing Henry Tillman around right now. He wants to go for a knockout early. He wants to punish this guy for what Buster Douglas did to him. He looks like a madman on his face. Mike Tyson is not going to have Henry Tillman around here very long. Although Tillman got a left hand through. He didn't bother Tyson at all. Tyson is a determined young man tonight. As he comes back, this is the left hook. He's very aggressive. He's not using that jab that we heard so much about in his training. He kind of flips it in there a couple of times, and Tillman ties him up. Now, you remember against Bone Crusher Smith that uh, they just tied him up constantly all the time. But Mike Tyson tries to punish Tillman to the body. We're in round one. Just on the way here in round one, Bob Sheridan on the Don King Sports and Entertainment Network, and Tyson has come out here to really fight very, very aggressively. 
again, we want to welcome all of our audience around the world, especially those in TV3 in Auckland, New Zealand. Chris Myron's and Clint Brown for uh, joining most of our telecast that involved Mike Tyson the next few anyway. And we're glad the people down there can be with us all over New Zealand and Australia. Welcome to TV3. Lyle with the right hand. The left hook catches Tillman. Midway through round number one, and Tyson isn't finished yet with this guy. Tyson is not fooling around one bit with this guy, not giving him any breathing room at all. Tillman is trying to stay in the move and does the proper thing if you're fighting Mike Tyson. Let's uh, tie him up inside. Mike is staying out where his punching has so much power. Watch for his left hook and his uppercut when he gets inside. And Mike will hit you any time. He'll hit you coming in, he'll hit you on the break, he'll hit you with a looping right hand, he'll hit you with a left hook. He's hit Tillman shell shocked already and the thing has really got going. Mike really tees off when he gets inside on him. This is the Mike Tyson that we saw so effective, knocking out 33 of his opponents. Tillman has a look of fear in his eyes as Mike Tyson just goes head hunting. Richard Steele, the third man in the ring, has got his work cut out with Mike Tyson. Oh, the right hand! I does if he'll be able to get up for this. He hit a punch on the jaw with the right hand. It's up to six and seven and eight and nine and ten. It's all over. Tyson, a first round knockout. Mike comes across the ring and tries to help his friend Henry Tillman up. Now, I can use and be that vessel that really, really hurts you. I'll go as far as it needs to be taken. To me, it's better than bullets. God, stop the fight. Otherwise, I'd still be fighting my wife right now. God was like, that was way, like, that's enough. Like, ding, ding, ding. Like, go back to your corner. So, for her, 
I'll look stupid and I'll That's the only reason I stopped. So, I mean... That's a whole different type of fight that I never fought before. I wouldn't fight an adulterous woman. Be like, alright, get out. Or, mostly, like, I wouldn't have, uh, continued the relationship at all. They're like, how does that make sense? Some girl sucks some dude's dick and you're sitting there like, all right, well, you're my girlfriend. We're going to work this out. How does that even make sense? Like, what spell did I fall under? Uh, marriage. <laughs> Me, I, I, whatever, man. Go fuck whoever you want to do. And, like, I'm just detaching from you. I'm still continuing on uh, what I'm doing. And I'm sure she'll probably get pissed about it and, like, blame me for it, but fuck her. So, the way I'm... She can deal with that. Because <laughs> I don't think that's the extent of it. 